Fire officials in New Bedford are on alert right now after a string of recent fires in the city. The latest happened early Friday morning at the Roasted Pig restaurant. It comes just a week after fire swept through the Lebanese kitchen and also damaged the upstairs apartments where the owner's family lived. The Pinpoint News Tracker shows you where those two restaurants are located on Nash Road and on Purchase Street. A nearby roofing company and three trailer trucks also caught fire recently. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan takes us to the talks to the owner of the most recent fire and joins us with more. There have been three fires in the last seven days, all at local businesses here in New Bedford. Now we spoke with one local business owner who tells us he hopes that this latest fire was just an accident. Fernando Godinho takes pride in his restaurant at the corner of Nash Street in New Bedford. Thursday night around 1130, he checked inside and out of the roasted pig before he left to go home. Not even two hours later, Godinho got a phone call. Well, the roasted pig is in fire, so come down. Godinho immediately thought the worst. I go crazy. I go crazy because this is my life, you know. This is, uh, it's, I live over here. I build this. Fortunately for Godinho, when he got to his restaurant, the small fire was out. But other businesses in town haven't been as lucky. Just last Friday, firefighters battled two other fires in New Bedford. First at R&B Rubberized on Washburn Street. Then, a few hours later, these intense flames tore through the Lebanese kitchen on Purchase Street. It was really scary. When I opened the door, there was just flames shooting in on me. The business and home above destroyed. But Godinho was lucky the damage to his restaurant was minimal, and it was business as usual Friday night. A lot of calls. Hey, you open? Yeah, I'm open. A lot of calls, a lot of calls. Godinho doesn't believe someone would intentionally set his business on fire. So far, the cause of all three fires remain under investigation. And of course, if you know anything or saw anything, give New Bedford Fire a call. Reporting in New Bedford with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.